What if the biggest growth opportunity for your channel isn't more content, but more languages? YouTube's AI dubbing tool may be the most overlooked growth hack of the year. Today, I'll show you how to turn on auto dubbing for your channel, how it works, and if you should use this tool. Most creators only focus on English speaking viewers, but what if I told you that 80% of YouTube's audience watches videos in other languages? That means you're not reaching millions of potential viewers yet. YouTube's new auto dubbing tool automatically translates and dubs your content using AI without recording a thing, and it's free to use for all creators. The audio tracks will be viewable globally across desktop, iOS, Android, and even TVs. Here's how to turn on automatic dubbing for YouTube channel. Click on settings in YouTube studio, click on upload defaults, click on advanced settings, scroll down where it says automatic dubbing, click enable. It says it automatically translates your audio tracks into different languages and adds them to your video. Check allow automatic dubbing and manually review dubs before publishing. Click save. If your video is in English, it'll be dubbed into French, German, Hindi, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, and Spanish. If your video is in any of those other languages, it'll be dubbed into English. Only your future videos will be translated once you've turned on auto dubbing for your channel. Keep in mind, it'll take a few minutes for your video to be dubbed into different languages. If you set your video to unlisted, you can preview your dub voices before you publish it. For example, if I go to this unpublished video and click on languages, I can review these dubbed voices from all these different languages. For example, if I click on Germany, you can see that the title and the description has already been translated into German. Under preview, I can check Germany and play the video to check the voice. Das hat sich am 31. März 2025 geändert. I asked my Austrian wife if the translation was accurate because she speaks German. She said the translation was accurate and it didn't even sound like a robotic voice. If I want to add German subtitles, go to manual subtitles and click add. I can upload a file, I can type them manually, or I can auto translate them. Click auto translate, and here you can see my subtitles are now be translated into German. If you speak German, you can even edit the captions. Click publish to publish the subtitles. Now you can see that the captions below your video are in German. Let's take a look at what the viewer will experience when watching your video. Here's what people in English speaking countries will experience. The voice will be in English with English subtitles. If I click on the settings cog icon, change your audio track to German. The sound is in German, but the subtitles are in English, which is the original language of the video. If I click on the cog icon again, click on subtitles CC, select German. The subtitles and sound is in German. Wird ein Aufruf in der Regel sofort nach Beginn der Videowiedergabe gezählt. What if a person in Germany wants to watch and listen to the video in English? They'll need to select the English audio track and the English subtitles. Now they can listen to the video in English with English subtitles. The two greatest benefits of adding subtitles to your videos is that the viewer can read the captions under your video even if they have the sound turned off. The second benefit is that it helps your video get discovered in the search engines. What if you want to unpublish or delete your dubs? Click on the content tab in YouTube Studio, select your video and click details. Click on languages, select the language you want to unpublish or delete. Click the drop down, click unpublish or click delete. Here's how to turn off automatic dubbing for your channel. Uncheck allow automatic dubbing, then click save. So should you use auto dubbing? Here are the pros of auto dubbing. Reach a global audience instantly. Now you can speak to viewers in multiple languages without reshooting your content. No extra recording needed. YouTube uses AI to translate and dub your video. Higher potential watch time and retention. Viewers tend to stay longer when the content is in their native language. Boost discoverability in foreign markets. Your video may show up on in international search results and recommendations, resulting in more views. Free and native to YouTube Studio. There's no need to pay for extra tools or services because it's all built into YouTube. Here are some of the cons of YouTube auto dubbing. AI voices can sound robotic. Sometimes a voice may feel unnatural or off-putting to viewers that are used to native speakers. Limited language support. Unfortunately, not all major languages are included and some translations may miss the context. Tone and emotion may not translate well. Humor, sarcasm, storytelling may lose its impact across different languages. Manual setup required for each video. It still takes time to choose the languages, review the dubs for an individual video, and publish the versions. It's not ideal for short-term or trend-based content. Dubbing takes time to process, so it's not great for fast news and trending topics. Here's my recommendation. If your goal is to grow a global audience, increase watch time, and expand your monetization potential, then YouTube's auto-dubbing tool is 100% worth testing.
Start with one or two of your evergreen videos, enable dubbing in a few high demand languages like Spanish or Hindi, then track the results in your analytics. This tool could 10 times your global views. Now that you know how to reach a global audience with auto dubbing, the next step is turning those views into income. Watch this video on how to make money on YouTube in 2025 and beyond. It'll show you the smartest ways to monetize your content this year.